And then Dick told me that there was this international organization. Yes. And that I should go to a meeting. And I was quite overwhelmed with the idea of going to an, an international meeting. I, got, I mean, I was still pretty novice in August. I was in my early 30s, and uh, you know, I had never been to an international meeting of anything. Um, but the meeting was going to be, so we can look up the date on it on the CV I sent you. The meeting was going to be in the UK, and it was being run by Bob Armstrong and Margaret Hobson. Oh, yeah. Um, who yeah. were close friends of Dick's and they, yes, were, they were doing yes, a lot yes. of gaming in the UK. And uh, so they accepted me to do something at that. Um, and Dick had a consultation in Paris. Dick had a consultation in Paris and I, for, I don't remember how it had come about, but I had done a French translation of Simsoc, mm -hmm. a new Bill Gamson as a sociologist. Yes, that. yes, yes. And I don't remember why or how it came about, but I translated Simsoc, and, uh, and I had these people at a university in Paris um, who, wanted, who wanted to play it. And, uh, and so Al Felt came and became my assistant, and, and uh, he didn't understand any French, but I just needed someone to hand things out and do stuff. So, yeah, I know. So, so Dick, had this, Dick had this consultation that he was doing with somebody, and he got me, Al Felt, and Layman Allen to join him on that. So he got us paid enough to cover our expenses. Um, and we did whatever the consultation was. And then we went and, and I went and ran Simsoc in Paris with, with Al as my assistant. And then all four of us went over to London and we went to the first ISAGA meeting that I went to. Confer the annual conferences of ISAGA since, the nine since 1970 um, and especially starting with the um, first meeting in um, Bonn Bad Godesberg was uh, on June 27, June uh, 28, 1970, was that um, the issue actually the main focus and, and also the main concern was um, how to place gaming um, among all kinds of methods and techniques to deal with um, complex uh, problems. And there were some hints about the uh, different kinds of theories of knowledge, or epistemology you might say. Um, but the general focus of the first um, meeting was on the instrumentality of games. And I would say that has been the main concern and also the major efforts uh, on uh, uh, the, the ISAGA and also on the international consecutive international conferences was actually how uh, can we improve the instrumentality of games. And I would say the first decade was of, of uh, international conferences of ISAGA was primarily had its focus, its focus on game design. How do we design games? Uh, what kind of procedures do we set up? And um, uh, are we successful in game design? In 1970, before we went there, Duke and I were discussing all the people he knew in Europe and I knew in Europe we had been communicating with over the previous four or five years about gaming. And uh, and we wanted and I we both wanted to go and go around and meet a lot of them that we had, we had only corresponded with, and then we hit on the idea of, why don't we instead have them all come to Bob Goldsberg, mm -hmm. and we'll have a big party there, and we can we can talk all come together and talk about gaming. Later. But anyways, we invited about I can't remember now, thirty or forty people, uh, some of whom do know, some of whom I knew, and some we both knew. And they to come, and I think twenty or maybe thirty showed up there. Uh, and uh, someplace there's a listing of all the people who were there, and there's and I found some old minutes of the of some of the meetings, and uh, so we've there's some record of some, some record of it, and so that's pretty well documented. But anyways, that, but some of the most significant event that came out of that attempt in, in Dortmund was the, the creation of. Well, of the group that became a saga. At that thing, they created, decided to create a, an organization and 
they set up the next meeting in Holland in Utrecht. And uh, I had received a request from Dor city of Dortmund, Germany, to build a housing game for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, that Hans Hansen was a professor who worked with us on that project, and Al Felt, who is well known for a game called Cornell Land Use Game, or CLUG, which I had asked Al if he would work with me. So Al and I and Hans Hansen spent the summer, along with three students of my, that I had brought into the picture, to put together an exercise on housing, public housing pro problems. Um, and midsummer, I realized that many of the people I knew who were advanced in gaming were in Europe at that time. So I sent letters to them. I still have the letters. I sent out 38 letters saying, if you can get to Dortmund, actually a town called Bad Godesburg, we'll buy the beer and sausages and we'll talk about games. And out of 38 letters, 21 people showed up with no planning of any kind. We didn't really expect much to happen. So we created a conference overnight and used, it was a wonderful conference because there was no need to follow an agenda or move from place to place. We just found a comfortable place, and it's an old windmill, the first floor of which was a big conference area, but a comfortable one. And we talked, we spent the three days, the long weekend, talking about gaming, and who was doing what, what was going on in the different countries. And uh, as a consequence of that, Hank Becker, a Dutch professor, put together notes from that and put out a little paper which would be like the proceedings of the first conference and volunteered to hold a formal conference the following year. And and that, that was uh, the big laugh then. Uh, we decided that the official language of the Isaga fifth conference was broken English. Okay. <laughs> that meant everybody was sort of, sort of Pulled down the peg and could easily make mistakes, and 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 it took more time to to find out and ask questions. So there was a really good uh, better back and forth. A lot of, um, and that's the beautiful thing I think about the whole idea of gaming and simulation that it's working with real strong content. And still, it's fun. It's both at the same time. And people are then more aware, more open, more are quicker at, at understanding things, and especially with the whole business of all the different languages. If we had a heaven and we went to heaven, there would be no work. What would we do? His answer was we would play games. That's one of the reasons why games are so important. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have something to do in heaven when we get there. <laughs> <laughs>